Hey, this is Mark with the Practical Steel. We're going back to the bottle. This one is a fireside single barrel from a local distillery in Denver, Colorado. Um, that The company there, Mile High Spirits, does some really cool uh, charity partnerships and stuff. They really support the community. Uh, they use a lot of local products. This is a three-year, two-month-old, 121.7 proof uh, straight bourbon. It uh, is part of a group, if you remember from when we did the open the bottle on this, and I'll put that right up there, that was part of a trust me group. So the fellow that picks the barrels said, you know, these aren't the normal things we'd pick, so you're just going to have to trust me. So I did, and I bought five different bottles in that group. Um, when I opened this one, I don't think I had very high expectations for, you know, a three-year-old whiskey from a distillery I didn't know anything about. And so I can't explain it, but when I opened it, I guess it was better than I thought it'd be, and maybe I overplayed that a bit in my mind because every time I've opened it since it is just not a thing for me you know it's still okay out of the barrel the bottle and I haven't had any in a while because frankly I had that first sip I thought hmm, better than I thought the next day I poured some it was just awful I just didn't like it the day after that I poured some still didn't like it tried some about a week later still didn't like it and here we are so, you know, it's a beautiful looking whiskey. Um, I don't get, I don't get the impression that, I don't know what to say. I hate, I hate it when I just don't like something. I just don't like this. It could just be that it's me and I don't like it, but there's just, it's just not a lot to it. It was stupid hot when I first opened it. Doesn't smell so bad. And frankly, on the nose, it's the weirdest thing. If I was blindfolded and somebody put that under my nose, I'd go, gin? I shouldn't think gin when I nose a bourbon, should I? Well, it has tamed significantly. It's still hot, but it's not crazy hot like it was before. There is a pleasant note you know, it's citrusy, um, but again, across the palate, as it is the, you know, as the alcohol vapor comes up into the nasal cavity as you drink, not to be gross, as you drink, there's a pleasant note there, but it's a gin note. It's a, it's a juniper kind of note, just odd for bourbon. Mouse feels lovely. It coats well. The finish is actually pleasant. It's that part from where I taste it till I swallow it. It's just got some funky notes of like wet cardboard or uh, I mean, I, maybe it's a lot of oak because it's, it's young. It's still got a lot of the fresh oak. It hadn't done its thing. I know that some distillers talk about the whiskey, uh, the, you know, the, the white dog whiskey could have the right flavors uh, after a month or a year in the barrel. It's still good. Then there's this drop-off period where it hasn't had time and it gets real rough. It could be that we're in that period. I don't know what it is. This is just not a pleasant bourbon. So I don't know what to tell you about that. It is a single barrel. It's not as if you'd find this on a shelf. You'll see a lot, at least here in Colorado, I don't know what their wider distribution is. You'll certainly see a lot of fireside product here. I wouldn't be, a, I, 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 try, I try other fireside products or Mile High Spirits products for sure. This one just doesn't do it. So I don't have to tell you, if you're in a club and they're doing a pick and it's a three-year-old bourbon, be a little wary. Maybe you can get a sip before and see. It's awfully subjective. This one's not for me, though. I'm glad I tried it because I do want to support craft and support local, but uh, I don't think I'll finish this one. Let me know what you think. You ever run into something that you think might be good and, and it isn't or that you don't have expectations for but turns out to surprise you? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments. Cheers.